Good morning, I'm Shelly Sinland, and this is your Fox 61 webcast for Friday, December 8th. It was a tale of two commutes this morning. While most people in the northern part of the state had a cold but easy ride into work, commuters in the New Haven area had some snow squalls, leaving up to a half inch on the roads. That made for a somewhat slippery ride in. You can see the snow on the sides of the road in these pictures taken around 8 a.m. by the traffic cams from the Department of Transportation. That made it a little more challenging for morning drivers. In the battle for your electric bill, it may come down to the Attorney General versus the Department of Public Utility Control. The DPUC is expected to issue a final decision today on a rate increase request from Connecticut Light and Power. Those regulators have already given preliminary approval to an 8.3% increase. Attorney General Richard Blumenthal has asked the state regulators to require the two biggest power companies in Connecticut to absorb the cost of delaying upcoming rate increases. The good hands of Allstate are waving goodbye to new business in Connecticut. The Hartford Current reports that Allstate, which is the largest homeowner insurer in Connecticut, says it will no longer sell new homeowners insurance policies in the state as of February 12th. The company says the decision is not in response to limits state insurance regulators imposed on hurricane coverage. And looking at today's weather, Chief Meteorologist John Carroll says today will be partly cloudy around midday. A chance of snow showers exists until late afternoon. Cold and windy with highs in the upper 20s. Those winds could get up to 40 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear, lows around 17. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy and a little warmer with highs in the upper 30s. And you can find the latest radar images by clicking on to radar on our website. Now let's take a look at what's coming up on tonight's Fox 61 News at 10. This is a Fox 61 News Brief. Coast to coast for a cause. Meet a Connecticut man running from the Pacific to the Atlantic for cancer survivors. Also, how an East Windsor company is bringing some warmth to a Hartford home. Plus, we take a look back at Yukon's season of ups and downs on the gridiron. Tonight on Fox 61 News at 10, Connecticut's Prime News. For all your breaking news, click on our news partners at current.com. Thanks for watching the Fox 61 webcast. I'm Shelley Sinland.